Ninjas, what's up? I'm Sean from the Net Ninja, and this is CSS for Beginners Lesson 9 Targeting Classes and IDs. <laughs> so, before we start, I just want to have a quick recap on what classes and IDs are. Now, both essentially are a way to describe your content, a way of giving it meaning and semantics. And the only difference is that a class can be used multiple times on a page, and an ID can only be used once per page. Uh, quick examples, you might have an article page and below that some comments from the user and say you've got five or six comments. Uh, imagine in the HTML each of these comments is surrounded by a div tag. Now you can give each of these div tags uh, a class of comment for example. Okay, so there's multiple classes on one page. Now an ID can only be used once, so an example of that could be a header. So on the page, you've got a logo, you've got a title, and you've got a navigation. You could surround all of those elements with a div tag and give that div tag an ID of page header because there's only one of those on the page. Now, if you want to learn more about IDs and classes, you can do that by checking out my video in the beginner's uh, HTML course. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Otherwise, for the rest of us, we're going to carry on into the HTML and start adding some rules with classes and IDs. So here I am back in the HTML and the first thing you'll notice is that I've ripped out all of these CSS styles that we did in the last lesson. I've also added a couple of tags. We've got this H2 within the header. We've got this H2 here with an ID of content header and I've added some span tags here with a class of deck. Now we learned in the last lesson that we could target elements and we're going to do that first. We're going to say H2 and we're going to give them a font size of 24 pixels Okay, and now we know that that is going to say hey go find every h2 in the page and style them this way Give them all a font size of 24 pixels So it's going to look for this h2 and it's going to find this h2 as well style them exactly the same Now we might not want that we might want this h2 here to be slightly different a bit smaller Maybe because it's not in the header and we can do that we can target it using this ID so the way we do this is by starting our selector with a hash symbol or a pound sign, however you want to call this little symbol here, we always start an ID selector with that. That says to the CSS, hey, this is an ID that I'm looking for. And then what we do is we put the ID name, which in this case is content header. So I'll just write that in, content header. And then that is saying to the CSS, look, I'm looking for an ID because I'm using this hash symbol and the ID I'm looking for is content header which is here so go and grab that element there and then let me style that in the declaration which I'm going to do now so I'll open my curly braces and close them and then I'm going to give these a smaller font size which is going to be 18 pixels and you know what I also want to give these a color of red so what we're doing here is overriding this h2 style Okay, the CSS works from top to bottom, so it starts here at the top. It says, okay, I found all these H2s, this one here and this one here, and I'm going to give them a font size of 22 pixels. Then it finds this rule here, which I've just minimized. And it says, okay, well, I've got this ID symbol here, so I'm going to go find an ID of content header, which is a H2, and I'm going to override this H2 rule by giving it a font size of 18 pixels and then a color of red. So let's save that now, make sure it's worked. I'm going to open up the content, uh, contact page in a browser in Google Chrome. And there we go, this is the H2 in the header, and this is the H2 with an ID of content header, which is red and smaller. So that's worked, brilliant. So that's how IDs work. Now, the next thing we're going to do is look at classes. And to do this, we're going to make use of these span tags here that I've uh, given a class of deck. Now, first, again, we're going to style them all in one rule by targeting the span elements. And again, that's saying, look, go and find every span tag on that page, which is all of these four here and style them this way. And I'm gonna make them display block. You won't know what this means yet, but don't worry about it. And give them a color of blue. So all the span tags, display block, and give them a color of blue. So I'm gonna open this up again in a browser. Take a look first of all. Google Chrome. And there they are, these four here. These are the span tags, they're all blue and displaying block. Now display block just means let them all display on a new line essentially. You don't need to learn about that yet, I'm going to cover it later. But just bear in mind that that span rule that we've just applied is targeting all of the spans. 
Okay. Now, what we want to do is style these class ones differently. And to do that, we can apply a CSS rule which targets this class here. And because there's multiple classes of deck, it's going to grab every element with a class of deck and style it the same. So the way we do this, the way we style a class tag is to start it with a period or full stop, depending on where you're from. That says to the CSS, hey, whatever comes next is a class name. OK, and the class name is deck. And that's it. That's a class. So the CSS is going to look for every class of deck on this page. And it wouldn't just be these spans. I could give this P a class of deck as well if I wanted to. And it would also style this. But we're not going to do that for now. We'll just get rid of that. And we're just going to style these here. So what I'm going to say is I want to color these red. So the bottom three spans here should be red. And the top one's still blue because we've not overridden that. That still applies here. Um, so we'll save that and have a view in the browser. And there we go. The top span tag is still blue. And the bottom three with a class of deck. Yo, I'm a span tag too. This is a deck of spans. I like spandex. They're all red. So hopefully now you know how to create a ID in a CSS rule. You just put the hash or pound sign at the start and then the name of the ID and then do your declaration. And you also know how to target a class. You just put a period or full stop, however you want to call it at the start, and then the class name, which is deck in this case. And then you style it in the declaration. So if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to comment below. I'll answer all of those as soon as possible. Don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos. There's another one coming very soon. I'll see you guys in that one in the next movie.